Hey, what's up guys? Jesus Doug here back with another uh, video on the DTF Motorsports YouTube channel. Uh, today we're doing a video that's been pretty highly requested. Um, I'm finally making more body mounts. Um, I went through and modified them so they're a little bit more universal. Um, yeah, these are the body mounts to put uh, a dent side or a bump side onto a Super Duty chassis. So yeah, we'll go through the uh, body mounts and the bed mounts and uh, I'll show you what I did to make them a little more universal. That way uh, I'm able to sell them and ship them to you and you can kind of do a little bit of modifications to make them fit your exact needs. Okay, so first we'll just go over kind of everything in general and then I'll go through like each mount specifically and say what it does and where it goes and stuff. But yeah, this big one in the back, obviously the rear cab support. So this goes all the way around the Super Duty frame um, that we got a lot of strength. It looks sweet and you got plenty of spots to weld to. And then we got the front mounts here. Um, these get welded onto the frame, basically wherever you need them to sit. Um, this is the first set of bed mounts, second set of bed mounts, third set of bed mounts, and then the rear uh, bed mounts. Um, I had to make these shaped a little different just because I don't know if it'll be this way on every truck. But on my truck, um, this part that wraps around the frame here, for the rear one, that was in the way of my leaf spring hanger. So um, those ones just go straight across on the uh, frame. So go through each mount individually and kind of go more into detail what each one does. Okay, so first up is the rear cab mount. Like I said, this goes completely around the Super Duty frame, sits down on it and you weld along the uh, sides and it's right here, weld it onto your frame. And these are cut out for um, Super Duty um, cab mounts. That way, uh, if you want to, you have the option, you can jump up to like a SMB silicone body mount and get a really good ride out of it. Um, so a couple things I changed um, on my truck, because this sits on the angled part of the Super Duty frame, I made this longer on mine so it matched, but because I wanted to make this kit a little bit more universal, the front and the back are the same that way. You know, if for some reason uh, your layout was different on your frame and you needed to sit on a flat spot of the frame, you can do that. So. Um, the only thing is if it sits on the angled part of the frame, you might not be able to weld the front right here. But I mean, welding all along here on both sides in the back, um, you'll have plenty of strength. So um, but yeah, that pretty much sums up the rear uh, cab mount. All right, so next is the front cab mounts. So, um, you know, these just weld onto the frame basically wherever you need them to go. Um, so what I would suggest when you go to mount these, um, I put this on my frame, got it all nice and leveled out. Put my body bushing in there and drop my cab down on it and torqued it down that way it compressed the bushing all the way and then i took these and bolted them to my cab you know put the bushing in here torqued it down to what it's supposed to be torqued at that way the um, bushing is fully compressed and um i took a laser level shot it along my body line until um, my cab was level front to back um, and then i just tacked these into place and then took my cab back off and then went through and welded them all the way in um, so I did change these a little bit from my design. Um, on my truck, I, my cab mounts are probably only about this tall. Um, I was kind of pushing it on the front edge of mine. I didn't have a whole lot to weld here. So um, the guy I was working with, he suggested to make these longer. That way you got more, more room to weld onto your frame. And also, um, you know, for some reason, if your cab has to sit taller than mine, for some reason, it gives you plenty of meat. Um, and then if, you know, if you don't like this, you can cut it. So, um, like I said, trying to make these more universal so they fit more, more uh, people's builds. Um, and obviously the year, um, I do that custom to whatever year your truck is. Mine's a 79. This dude's doing a 62, so 62 on both sides. And like I said, this is cut out for a Super Duty cab mount, cab bushing. So, um, yeah, that's the front mounts. Now we'll, uh, we'll jump to the bed mounts. Um, the bed mounts, each one is a little bit different. Um, you know, the first three are pretty similar, but there are some differences. So I'll be sure to point those out. All right, so this will be the front set of bed mounts. And... They are a little different than the rest of them because and it actually is left and right. This is the only one that has a left and a right. So the side that's going to face the cab, this part is thicker than on the back. Not by much, but it is thicker. Um, and the reason for that is um, on my bed, where my front rail was, the frame was still tapered. So I had to do this to get it so it sat level. Because if, if I made them the same size, it's going to sit like this. 
So, um, so that's the only reason this front one does have a left and a right. And then, like I said, if your, your application works different and it's not on the angle part of the frame, you can trim this. So I put left plenty of meat here on both sides so you can go through and trim. Um, and it's like that for every bed mount. I added meat here, made these windows a little bit smaller. That way you can trim here and here if you need to to make them work for your truck. And then one other thing I changed on all the bed mounts compared to mine, um, when I cut mine out, I cut the hole in here because I knew where my bed bolts were gonna be already. So um, what I would do is go through, you know, get these close on your frame where you think they need to be, bring your bed down and tack these into place and then go through and get your bed perfectly leveled and centered and then drill straight through your bed into these. Um, so these are just wide enough where your, uh, your bed support will fit right between here. There's, there's play, I mean, it's not like a perfect fit that you can you know, move your bed forward and backwards if you need to, but um, so yeah, these won't come with the holes in them. And like I said, I added meat all the way around here. That way, you know, if you need to trim these or cut them, there's plenty of meat there for you. So trying to make them more universal. All right, and this is the second set. Um, these ones do not have left and right. They're the same side to side. Um, these are the shortest ones. So this height here is the shortest just because um, the way mine sits, the second bed uh, rail is like right where the frame starts to come up to go over the axle. So I had to make the, these ones a little bit shorter. And same thing as the last ones, plenty of meat here. You know, if you need to go through and trim these to make them fit your build exactly, there's plenty of meat in here you can go through and trim out. And again, there's no bolt holes in them. So get them in place, level your bed out and uh, get exactly where you want it and then drill your holes. And then the third set, um, these ones, like I said, there's no left and right. These are the same side to side. Um, these ones are a little bit taller than the second set. They're more comparable to the first set, but they don't have one side taller than the other. So um, same thing as the last two sets, plenty of meat here to go through and trim whatever you need to make fit. And again, there's no holes in here. So get your bed in place and drill your holes. And then the rear set. And like I said, these ones are shaped this way because I can't have the piece that wraps around the side of the frame just because uh, it's right where the rear leaf spring hanger is. So, um, but um, same thing again, made these windows smaller on these kits. That way you have plenty of meat here to trim it down to make it fit your build. And again, no hole on top. So just get these set up on your frame, get your bed where you need it and drill straight through your bed into this plate and then you can bolt it down. So um, yeah, that covers the whole kit. Um, like I said, um, I just made minor modifications to the kit that I'm running on my truck just to make them more universal for you guys. Um, obviously, these will not be a direct bolt-on fit. You know, don't expect to get these shipped to your house and you're just going to, you know, glue them onto your frame and everything's going to drop on perfect. Um, obviously, if you're doing this type of build where you're putting an old body style truck in a new chassis, um, I'm assuming that you have some mechanical ability. Um, like I said, you're gonna have to grind and fit and cut and go through and, um, you know, make everything sit level for your build. But this will get you a very good head start and get you really close. And then also, like I said, they're set up for the super duty mounts. So um, you're able to put a really nice bushing underneath your cab and get a really good ride out of your build. So um, like I said, these will be available. Um, I'm not gonna put them on the website just because um, there's so many differences. So um, if you're interested in these and you've already seen this video, shoot me an email and uh, let me know what you're doing and we can kind of work out the details of what exactly you need for your truck. If, if I have to make minor modifications to the width or something, you know, we can go through and work through those details and obviously put whatever year you want on your front mounts and uh, go from there. So um, like I said, this just kind of makes it a little closer to being a more universal fit for these swaps. And, um, you know, I'd like to sell more of these and help you guys out. Like I said, this will get you a really good head start. So, so yeah, that's the full kit for putting a uh, either a depth side or bump side onto a Super Duty chassis. Um, these might work for an OBS Ford too. I'm not 100% sure. But, um, you know, if someone's interested in something like this for an OBS, um, you know, give me some measurements on your cab and we can see if we can make this work. Um, so like I said, just trying to make this kit a little more universal for you guys. I had tons of people reaching out to me when I first made the kit for my truck 
and um, there was just there was way too many variations I, I can't go through and make a custom kit for every truck and you know still try to make money and be profitable so um, this will get you really close um, get you a really good head start and like I said just uh, you might have to do some minor modifications but this uh, this will be a really nice kit for you. Uh, these turned out beautiful. I'm actually jealous because on my truck, I plasma cut mine when I started my plasma cutter. And this kit, I got all laser welded and these these turned out amazing. Um, the quality is just unreal. Um, so yeah, this is a beautiful kit. Um, if you guys have any questions, either comment down below or shoot me an email and uh, we'll see if we can uh, work out some details and get a kit to work for your build. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, like I said, I just want to make this video real quick before I box up this kit to ship out. Um, this is the first one I made for a customer. Um, you know, we shot emails back and forth, kind of checking dimensions that he had with his truck and everything, making sure um, that we were in the ballpark to where this will be a pretty close kit for him. Um, uh, yeah, I had tons of people asking about it when I made my kit, but like I said, there's just way too many variables. I can't make a kit that's, you know, 100% direct swap for everyone. So, um, like I said, um, if you guys are interested and you've seen this video already and you still have questions, just, uh, comment down below or shoot me an email. And, uh, if anyone does reach out to me without seeing this video, I'm going to make you watch this video before I ship them to you that way you kind of know, uh, what modifications you might have to make. Um, but yeah, thanks again for watching, guys. I appreciate it.